right, now, this one's flying over first base, taking two hops and settling down next to a little piece of rubber I like to call home plate. Ooh! Oh! There's no the reason why groundskeepers should wear helmets. <laughs> what the hell is that noise? Oh, my God. Oh, they're back! Wow. No, no, what, what, what's back? It's aliens, right? It's Armageddon. Oh, you name down. it, here. Come on, let's go out in the tight hey, embrace. What are you doing? Relax, Billy! It's the cicadas. The what? They're bugs, you freak. They only hatch once every 17 years. That's why you don't remember them. Last time they were out, you were four. You ate one. I ate one of these bugs. That's right. Well, technically, I fed it to you. Hey, check it out. They live a very strange life. They live for one day, they mate, then die. Strange life, but a good life. <laughs> they say good things are supposed to happen when they're around. That's right. Hi. I'm looking for a Mike Kolchak. Correction. Damn good things. <laughs> Hi, I'm a Mike Kolchak. I'm Hillary Blackwell with the firm of Levy Schwarzenberg. Mm -hmm. I represent your wife, Lisa, and she wanted me to give you these. Huh. Divorce papers? divorce papers say they say she's selling the house our house oh, my house i built that house i'm gonna go save that house mike you know i made you a little breakfast actually i made you a lot but there's a little left no no, no thank you no i gotta go see lisa she has no idea what she's doing what is this thing it's mine <laughs> it's jerry office services mike guy being divorced <laughs> I don't know what it is, but people just open up to me. Jerry, talk to me, sweetness. I think I'll let the tickets do the talking. Jerry, can I just say, you the man. See these, Harry? I hold in my hand the tickets that will put me in close proximity to Gabrielle Reese, the goddess of beach volleyball. You know, I'm not afraid to say I have a thing for Gabrielle Reese. I even like saying, Gabrielle Reese. Miss you. Harry. This hand truck says property of office services. Yeah. Oh, no. Now, easy, big man. I borrowed it because I'm going to help Lindsay move. I'd like to believe that. Well, believe it. No, Jerry, it's true. He's actually helping the woman of his dreams move in with her boyfriend. Let me, let me put it this way. Hey. Uh, Mel Gibson will not be starring in the Harry Kolchak story. Careful. <laughs> Nathan Lane, however. Hey. It's true I used to have a thing for Lindsay. All right, she used to be the woman of my dreams. We're just friends now, you know? I've moved on. I mean, Kelly, you know? Hi, Kelly. Hey, Harry. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know Billy, and this is Jerry. Office services. Hi. Enchante. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to use the can. <laughs> Harry, I brought your Black Hawk oh, sweatshirt. I got the fantastic. stain out. Fantastic. I promise to never kiss you again when you're holding a spare rib. Good idea. Why don't you just bring it tonight? <laughs> well, here's another promise. I'll never break a date with you again because my father came into town. Hey, why don't you just bring them? I'm sure we can get another ticket. How many do you need? <laughs> well, uh, Harry, if I bring my dad, you'll meet him, and you realize we'll, we'll have moved on to the Meet the Dad stage. I'm looking forward to that. OK, then, tonight. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Huh? Me and her dad, I didn't even know where you were sleeping with her. Uh, I think you're allowed to meet somebody's parents, even though you're not sleeping with them. Uh, not where I come from. <laughs> you know, Harry, I'm not quite sure I was clear with you. Mm. 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 You are going to get so lucky tonight. I feel we've had a wonderful meeting. I thank you for attending. Huh? Wow, cicada fever. Catch it! <laughs> What happened to the old doormat? The one with the fish? That just happened to be a largemouth bass. Would you believe it was stolen? <clears throat> Lisa, you're not selling the house. I'm not selling the house. You cannot just up and decide to do things on your own like this. And whoa, whoa, 
What does that mean, you're not selling the house? It means you're not listening. I'm not selling the house. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Then what does it say right there? It says, if a time should come that we decide to sell the house, we split the proceeds 50-50. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Nuh-uh. No, no. At Harry's, it said you're selling the house. Yes. Where are the pretzels? I moved them. This is the pretzel cabinet. You know, Mike, I'm sorry. We're getting divorced. Some things are going to change. Why do things have to change? And why are we getting divorced? Mike, we have been through this a hundred times in couples therapy. You're not in touch with your emotions, and I just can't live like that anymore. I know exactly what my emotions are. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, then, Mike. Tell me what you feel right now. I feel like... I really want a pretzel. <laughs> Way to go, Harry. You keep breaking things. All my stuff's gonna fit in a cab. Very sorry. Hey, uh... Lynn, you know, for about two months after we started working together, I didn't go out on one date. Uh, because you were a little confused about you and me? No, because I was in a big dry spell. But <laughs> during the time that I didn't have a date, I thought that it was just a sign that something was going to happen between you and me. Well, to be honest, that's why it took me so long to move in with Derek. But yeah. then I realized, you know, you and I would just screw up the work things. Right, I know, work. I mean, that's the important thing. Now you're with Derek, I'm with Kelly. It's... Yeah, yeah, you know what, Harry? I'm really glad we're double dating at the volleyball game tonight. Yeah, you know? I know, me too. It's really nice we can be adults about these things, yeah. you know? I'm kind of proud of us. Same with me. Yeah. We're all grown up now. Yeah. Like, for instance, I can see your tummy right now. It's got absolutely no effect on me. I mean, it used to, like, uh, you know, nuts. Uh, but now, nothing. Uh, I used to love the way your hair got all messed up. You know, mm -hmm. now it just looks stupid. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, we could, you know, we could probably run around this apartment buck naked and nothing. Nothing. You know, I bet we could have sex right here on this table. <laughs> no biggie, you know. Unbelievable. Wow, unbelievable sex right in the middle of the day, huh? But it's not about that. It's about the connection. You and Lisa finally talk things out, huh? Mm, there wasn't really much time to talk with all the sex going on. Hey! hey. <laughs> all right, before anyone tells me anything, let me tell you what I learned today about helping a friend move. It is a hassle and it is time consuming. Yet it's very rewarding if you have sex with them on their dining room table. Oh! Hey, a second, you and Lindsay? Went to bed. That's right. We're not just bed, we went to bed, bath, and beyond. <laughs> there really is something about those damn cicadas. I'm telling you, they're magic. Yeah, sure are. Proof is my brother Mike is ironing. Well, there's a reason for that. I'm taking Lisa to the volleyball match this evening, so my shirt cannot look like crap. Lisa? Mm-hmm. Hey, that's the best news we've had in a long time. I'm telling you, she's talking about a whole new beginning. Ah, we're getting back together, Which huh? Which is where we belong. Do you realize what a momentous day this is for the Brothers Kolchak? If I hook up with Gabrielle Reese tonight, we all have women. <laughs> oh, my God, tonight. Kelly's gonna be there, Lindsay's gonna be there. I'm two-timing two women at the same time. <laughs> My God, Harry, you're a country western song. <laughs> They're gonna go down to that volleyball match. I gotta do the right thing, and I gotta break up with Kelly tonight. How are you gonna do that? In front of her dad and 15,000 fans? Well, I don't really think I have a choice. Do you, Mike? Okay, but if you ask me, it lacks a certain class. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow, look at the bodies on those girls. Oh, my dad didn't fly into town just to watch me lose you to some other woman. <laughs> <laughs> you, we're crazy. You, <laughs> Kelly. 
Come on. Now, I know it seems like impossibly long odds, but when, when Gabrielle and I meet, I think she's going to see me for who I really am, you know? Uh, her best chance at having average-sized children? <laughs> Listen. Uh, Kelly, I'm glad your dad went to go get some drinks because it'll give us a little chance to talk here. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. He makes you nervous, doesn't he? Uh, nervous? No, please. He's great. He's a very fun-loving kind of guy, no. you know? <clears throat> Hello there. Thank you, Colonel. That was fast. I didn't save this country's ass and Nam to stand on some deer line. <laughs> Vietnam. Wow, I, I understand that war was quite controversial. I, uh, I hear those hippies really gave you the business. Been in the service for most of your life, then, have you, sir? Seem to be a good fit. There's no crap in the military. No. It's black or white, right or wrong. You're either a good guy or a bad guy. And if you're a bad guy, better sleep lightly. <laughs> Harry, where is everybody? Where's Lindsay? I wouldn't be looking for Lindsay and Derek tonight. Hey, Lindsay. Hello there. Hi. Have a seat. What's he doing here? What is he doing here? What is she doing here? Well, I couldn't reach her, and I can't break up with her now in front of this guy. He'll make me do push-ups. Well, I, I went over to tell Derek about us, but all his friends were there helping him move. You wouldn't have embarrassed him in front of all his friends. Oh, yes, I would have. I would have enjoyed it. Problem? No. No, no. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join the national anthem. I'm standing. What, man? Hey, everybody. Hi. Hey there. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Billy. We missed much. Only the first two points, both very erotic. <laughs> Look what I got here. Two giant pretzels, two chocolate molds, two little wooden spoons. Could life be any better than this? Huh? Ah, what if the Chicago Bears were down there playing volleyball? Does she know me or what? <laughs> Three serving one. want to ruin the moment <laughs> but a cicada just leaped into your soda oh you know what this is this is a sign no billy it's a refreshing beverage <laughs> this little guy's gonna help me meet gabrielle reese i'm sure you can appreciate how difficult my situation is Harry, my situation is just as difficult no, no, no. your situation would be difficult if his grandmother was a general what happened this afternoon was very important to me, but clearly it meant nothing to you, Mr. Random Sex on Tables Man. You know, I'm seeing a very ugly side of you. Look in the mirror, Missy. Do you guys want some Cracker Jacks? Oh, Please, yes, that thank would be you. Oh, this is my favorite. You know what I think, Harry? Maybe we were curious, and now maybe our curiosity has been satisfied. End of story. Okay, fine. End of story. Uh, Finito. All right, all right, then. Adios. That, that's, that's a different language. Hey, hey, uh, same meaning, muchacho. Hey, thank you. You just spit on me. Uh, didn't seem to bother you a couple hours ago. All right, look. <laughs> Maybe we obviously made a big mistake here. We should just keep this whole relationship strictly professional. All right, then, partner. As far as I'm concerned, we never had sex. <laughs> and, uh, uh, we never had sex. And we never had sex. And I know, you know, we've never had sex. Isn't that funny? Sweetie, you're the only one here I've had sex with. Yeah. Derek, you really found yourself an old-fashioned girl. Uh, come on, Derek, can we go now? I just remembered I hate volleyball. Come on. With all due respect to my co-worker there, sir, she's what you military types call cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. 
You know what's really great about this? Mm. I get to sleep an extra hour tomorrow. Why? Because I'll be closer to work. Where? <laughs> At the house, our house. Yeah. Oh, Mike, I thought we both understood about today. Yeah, it means we're getting back together. Having sex didn't change anything. It changed the fact that we weren't having sex. Mike, no, it was wonderful. It was sweet. But I thought we both knew it was a really nice way to say goodbye. Well, what about that new beginning? No, no, this is it. This is the beginning of a friendship. That's why I came here tonight. Wait a sec. Whoa, wait. Are you serious? I mean, you, you, you really want to go through with this divorce? Mike, I'm really sorry. I just thought we both understood. Now we do. <laughs> would it make you feel better if you took me home? No, it would make me feel better if I were still married to you. But we're not. Now, why don't you give a friend a ride home? Excuse me, Colonel, could you just shoot me? <laughs> Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Hi. Oh, fuck. No, 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 hey, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Um, I'm Billy Kolchak, and obviously you can tell I'm not weird or anything. Well, no, I, I just figured I could take you with one hand. <laughs> hey, uh, you got a bug in your soda. That's not just a bug. That's a cicada. He, um... He symbolizes living in the moment because, Gabrielle, there is no tomorrow. Billy, that's really sweet. Security? <laughs> that's a token of my affection for you. I don't want to be touched there. That's <laughs> Harry, look, I'm starting to get a sense of what's going on here. I'm so sorry, Kelly. If I could have, I would have broken mm -hmm. up with you way before you got here. N no, I, I thought you just didn't like my father. Oh. Uh, I'm giving you till 2100 hours to get out of my country. <laughs> Gabrielle Reese, merely a memory. You know what? It seems like just yesterday I was up here with Jerry learning how to play volleyball. Billy, that was today. <laughs> It stopped. It stopped. That maddening, annoying assault in my ears finally stopped. I miss it. Yeah, the cicadas are gone. So is Lisa. They'll be back in 17 years. And she won't. So I guess you'll be signing those divorce papers, huh? Mm. Everything's changing. Did I tell you about the pretzel cabinet? Yes. yes. And the doormat. Uh... So, uh, what's next up, bud? Well, we started divvying stuff up. I mean, she's been real sweet about it. I got first choice. Ooh, look at that. Oh, my oh, <laughs> Yeah, baby. Huh? So until I install this, I'm just Mike Kolchak on my own. Harry Kolchak on my own. Billy Kolchak on my own and possibly facing a restraining order. <laughs> well, guys, we still have each other. That's right. Women come and go. But brothers... Move in and live with you. To us. Billy. Hi. Hi. Uh, listen, I got your address off the security guard's arrest report. I hope this isn't too weird. W weird? Uh, Gabrielle, nothing you could do could be too weird for me. I mean, unless you wanted a finger paint on my body. But then again, I'm a, I'm a big supporter of the arts. Uh, <laughs> Billy, you're cute. I knew I saw something special in your eyes today as they dragged you off. Actually, that, that may have been the pepper spray, uh, but you're... <laughs> Your instincts were right. Hey, uh, I was wondering if it's okay and you've got the time that you go get a cappuccino with me. Really? Cappuccino? Cappuccino. Uh, espresso for me. I'm a little lactose intolerant, but that's neither here nor there, is it? Okay. Say goodbye to my brothers Mike and Harry. Okay, bye. It was nice to almost meet you. See ya. <laughs> well, Billy got what he wanted, huh? And I guess we... We lost the most important women in our lives. Yeah. I guess it's just you and me. Yeah. And Lindsay. Hey, Harry. Hey. Where's Derek? Ah, uh, in his apartment. Alone. Hating me. Where's Kelly? 
Uh, she's with her dad, and they're both hating me. So my situation's twice as bad as your situation. Uh, I guess you're wondering why I'm here. No. Yes. Um, I, I kind of thought we could have a new beginning. Ooh, ooh, watch out. That's dangerous. Really? But then I've been known to misread things. <laughs> you want to get out of here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, little fella. Looks like it's just you and me, pal. Or just me.